Hey everyone. So I've been doing a couple videos where I'm going to go through different power-ups and how you might want to use them and how they work. So today I want to talk about the Import to Trello by Blue Cat power-up. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It lets you import cards from a CSV or an Excel spreadsheet into Trello. So if you've ever had a spreadsheet and you're like, man, I need to take all of these and they need to become cards on a board. There used to kind of be some hacky ways you could do that, but none of them were perfect. And now that Blue Cat has this power up, it's amazing. And I'm super excited to share it with folks next time I get someone asking me how to do this. So I'm going to link in the description to this power up page where you can read and learn more about it. But let's just dive right into it, shall we? So first of all, I'm going to add it to the board. And then I'm going to be prompted to add a CSV. But first, let me show you what I'm working with here. So I basically got this spreadsheet of sample data safety information. And just to keep it simple, I only have like 20 cards in here, but you could do this with however many you want. Um, there's definitely a recommendation to not have more than like a couple to several hundred uh, cards in a Trello board, but you know, the limit is that. And so anyways, so you can do whatever you want here. You've got different each row is effectively what you want to be a card. So what you do over here is you've got your Trello board set up to be pretty similar. So I have list names for that map to the um, the plant. So that way I can group it in that way. But it could be kind of whatever it wants. Uh, I have some labels here that show the different department it's happening in. And I have some custom fields for the cost and the location, like, of the injury type of thing. And so, yeah, so let's, let's see how this works here. So I click by import by Blue Cat. And I'm going to add my file here. And then you can see here it's just a simple mapping where it's like, oh, here's a spreadsheet column. Where do I want this to go in Trello? So the date. Let's make that go to the due date, shall we? Injury location. Um, that's actually a custom field I have. Age group. We can just put that in the card description. Incident type. Um, we could just maybe make that the card name plants that is the different list and so it's important to note that uh, you should make sure all of these values that you have in whatever that field is so in plant make sure you have a list name for each of those so it actually knows where to map it because when I was testing it out if you left off like Texas I think it didn't map that card so that's why you want to make sure you you actually have everything there um, next you want to do we've got department we can put that in the card description incident cost I have a custom field for that so um, oh, actually, wait, I have labels for something. That's department. Let me make that labels. All right, and so now we will import the sample data, and it's going to, or the, the spreadsheet. It's called sample data, but it's coming on in here. And while it is doing that, um, let me tell you about, sorry, I think my internet was kind of slow, so it took a second to get off there, but, uh, have you used forms by Blue Cat? Because if you have not, it's one of my favorite power-ups. It's a great way to send someone a link to a form. They fill out the form, and it creates a card in your Trello board. They don't have to be on Trello. Uh, they don't even have to go to Trello. It's just a simple web form they can access on their phone or wherever. And when they fill it out, it becomes a card in your Trello board. So super great. I, I love using it for a couple things. I use it for when people join my newsletter to get survey feedback. So um, definitely recommend it. So now let's see how our data looks. So you can see all of these spreadsheet rows have now become different cards here in our board. And so it's mapped out exactly to the list that it was in. And it, you know, looks looks great. Makes sense there. We have the name of what they all are. They're sorted by due dates. We have the, um, the injury location as a custom field, the cost of them all. We could view this as a table if we want um, and go back to our spreadsheet views or we could view it if we wanted to see it in like a calendar. Maybe we want to see like, oh, well, these, this data is all back from 2020, but um, take me a little while to get back there. But uh, we could see nobody wants to go back to 2020. Why are we doing this? Um, because it's going to make for a great example. So, yeah, you can see it all plotted out here on the calendar and then open the card and go to exactly what you want. And... Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. It's I definitely recommend this if you're like, I've been using something else and I want to use Trello. You can typically export your data from whatever that tool is and bring it into Trello with this. So I definitely recommend checking this out. And if you have any questions, comment down here and let me know. And let me know if there's another power-up you'd like me to review and check out.